Hey fellas, let me explain to you what you're looking at here. I made them a couple of fuzzies, all right? Two of them over here are with fatwood. These two are with some regular cedar wood. Um, uh, just nice dry wood. Should take a spark as long as my fuzzies are thin enough. I have two types of ferro rods here. One's a typical uh, fire seal. Kind of like the light my fire one, just a little different. And then here's the one goinggear.com sells. This is a mish metal rod. Probably my favorite, the light, difficult, tender, or just my favorite in general. But we're just going to see how easy fat wood is to take a spark. Um, I think the key thing here is, you know, less technique, but more about what you get, what your uh, fuzzies look like or your shavings look like. Nice and thin, it should be pretty easy. Um, start here, all right. See how many strikes it take. There's one, okay. Let's get rid of that before I set the house on fire. Now we'll try your going gear one. Same thing, I know there's different techniques, but whatever, I'm using this one. These are a little bit difficult to light at first. Oh, missed. There we go, and that took, okay. So long as you get the spark to land on it, you're good to go. Now let's try your regular, just dry wood, not fat wood. Again, as long as your fuzzies are thin enough, you should be able to get this to light. Um, this is the regular fire fire steel. There you go, one spark of that. Nice. Oh, there's the other one. And now let's try your for uh, your mish metal one from Going Gear. Stick it right in there, and again, one strike of that. Um, so, yeah, if fat wood lasts longer, burns. You know, even when kind of even when wet, great stuff. But when it comes to tinder, as long as the wood's dry and your fuzzies or your shavings are thin enough, it'll take a spark. Thanks, fellas. Bye-bye.